You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. Hey everybody and welcome to Works Wednesdays. Works, we, we don't like works. Works, we're not saved by those. We don't talk about those. We're all about faith. That is correct. Works are a good thing. It's good when we talk about good works, faithfully. Not rightly or wrongly or correctly, but how do we Christians live out our holy life here in good works? Not letting them be our, our trophy that we put on the mantle saying, look what I did for God to love me. Nor do we deny them and say, well, they don't matter at all. Therefore, we never have to talk about them. Instead, how do the scriptures, how does the Bible talk about good works? And one of the best passages to go to is Ephesians 2, 8 through 10. Now, we know Ephesians 2, 8 through 9 really well. That's the passage where St. Paul talks about we are justified by faith, not by works, so that no one may boast. We are saved by faith. And faith, Luther says it in his preface to the book of Romans, faith is a daring confidence in God's mercy. Faith is trust in Jesus' mercy to save us, his promise to save us, that on the cross, he finished all the work needed to be done that we may be saved, rescued, redeemed from sin, death, world, and the power of the devil. So this work's done in faith, gift from the Holy Spirit, clings to Jesus' cross alone and rests in him unceasing. But what does this faith do? Faith, it's not dead. Our life isn't some useless moat that we just kind of go from the font to the grave not doing anything. No, faith is a daring thing, a busy, active thing that's always doing good works. Because St. Paul, guided by the Holy Spirit, wrote in verse 10 of chapter 2 that we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which he prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. So we see these good works, and what are those good works? The Ten Commandments. Loving God, that first table, and loving our neighbor, the second table, not because we have something good in and of ourselves, but this is just what faith does. Faith is always desiring to do good, always loving the neighbor. It's always looking for a good work to do. And before it can even be thought of, faith has done it. So it's not to burden us like, okay, now I know I'm a Christian as long as I do good works. No, I know I'm a Christian because Jesus declares me to be so. He says I'm forgiven. He says I'm loved. He says I'm saved. It's all what Jesus says about me. And then he takes me, who is saved, who's no longer lost and condemned, who's no longer in darkness, but then the light of Christ in the forgiveness of my sins, joyfully living in that grace. He now says, hey, in the meantime, before you get to the good place, unto all eternity, rescued from this valley of sorrow, in the meantime, you live for your neighbor. You live in these good works that I've already written down. You don't have to wonder what a good work is. You don't have to come up with good works. You don't have to worry about them. They're already there. When you see the need of your neighbor, you help them. When you see them in need, when you see them in want, when you see them burdened, you assist them. Why? Because Christ has done it for us and we're released from the burden of saving ourselves that way. So we're not saved by works. We're saved by Christ. And now we live as Christ lives for us because faith imitates Jesus, and it releases us. It unburdens us. It allows us to say, hey, my day isn't going to be spent in worrying and struggles, but instead, what can I do for my neighbor? Because Christ has done all things for me. So be at peace, y'all, and remember, we are not saved by works. We are saved by faith, and now that faith lives in good works for the neighbor, and it's a blessed life as we continue to wait for our Lord to call us home 
unto all eternity. God bless y'all, and we'll see you next time.